Hi and welcome to my fourth video in the series about mutation and diseases and today we're going to look at some more diseases and some more into monohybrid um, crosses. And so one of the conditions that you're expected to know about is albinism. And so um, albinism um, or people that suffer from it, um, referred to albinos, um, is this is caused by a mutation um, where the pigment melanin cannot be synthesised. And so melanin is the pigment um, within skin that causes you to be darker and so the darker you are the more melanin you have um, and the reason why this is a inherited disease is there's a mutation in the gene um, that produces the enzyme called tyrosinase and tyrosinase goes on to produce melanin um, from the cells that produce it and so the mutation means that it, it can't be um, produced and it's caused by um, a recessive allele and so if we have a look um, a monohybrid cross between um, an albinism sufferer and a heterozygous individual. And so in this case, the two possible um, alleles for this are A, or the dominant one, which is capital letter, which is healthy, and the lowercase a, which is albino. And we're crossing um, a sufferer with a carrier for this. And so the F1 genotype, so the first generation, these individuals, the sufferer has small a small a and the f1 genotype for the carrier is big a small a the gametes in this instance will be um obviously in half the let's call this individual the male half the sperm or in all of the sperm they're going to just simply have um, the allele for albinism and in the carrier half the eggs have the dominant um, healthy allele and half the eggs have um, the recessive albinism allele and so the punnett square for this look like this and so what you have here are two carriers and um, two sufferers and so the F2 genotypes that gives you two sufferers two carriers and so the phenotypes for that will be um, two sufferers and two carriers and so the likely outcome is if they have two kids you'd expect one of them um, to be a sufferer and the other to be a carrier for this disease and um, the other type of condition that you meant to know about is thalassemia. And thalassemia is a blood condition and it's specifically related to um, red blood cell formation and haemoglobin um, and again caused by a recessive allele and so it can essentially mean that people can't carry as much oxygen to their cells so they can't obviously have much more problems respiring at the same rate and so tiredness and, and some other um, symptoms that you would associate with lack of oxygen carriage um, arise here. There is loads of types of thalassemia, it's not just one, um, but for the purposes of this qualification you basically need to know that it's to do with the blood and caused by a recessive allele. Um, and so if we look at a monohybrid cross between a thalassemia sufferer and a homozygous individual, again if we write down what the different alleles are, so large T in this case the dominant one is the healthy allele, the small T is the thalassemia allele and we're crossing um, the two individuals to suffer it and somebody who's healthy and so the F1 genotypes in this case will be um, small t small t and big t big t and so the gametes in this instance will be if this is the male all of the sperm will contain um, the allele for the disease and in this case these um, eggs will all contain the healthy allele and so the Punnett square for this will look like this and so in all cases here all of them will be um, carriers of the disease. And so of the um, F2 genotypes you have two lots um, of those or in some cases uh, I suppose four um, and there are essentially four carriers that is the only possible outcome. Um, if you join me on the next video where I'll be looking at some pedigree diagrams